Hi, let's talk about SQL Server Performance Tuning. It is a vague concept and there are maybe many reasons why our SQL queries or SQL procedures or any SQL object which is running very slow. So here, let me talk about some of the important points. So in your scenario, you might be dealing with a specific database with a specific uh, business logics. So that might be that in that scenario, you might need to think in a different way. But here, let me talk about some general concepts. So what are all the major points where you need to take care of while uh, designing the database? So while writing the procedures or while uh, uh, creating the stored procedures and all. And as I told that, there are many issues that affect our SQL Server performance and scalability. So here we'll discuss about here we'll discuss starting from design and like we can end with a deployment. So even deployment also makes a, a lot difference here. So because we are talking about the performance. OK, so there are two ways here like so achieving a result and achieving a performance. So there are um, there are many developers like they used to think of a result. So later they'll think of on the performance, but that is wrong. So parallelly as a efficient developer parallelly, he need to think about a results and performance. So what are all the major points or major areas where as a developer as an architect has to concentrate. So if you see, so there are many areas here. So as per my understanding, so these are all the areas where <coughs> developer or uh, architect has to think of it first. So firstly, he need to think of on the database schema design. It should be very efficiently. Second one, so need to be indexes should be fine tuned. So indexes like a, so if you create more indexes, even though it is not required, so it degrades the database performance. So indexes should be in properly and should be fine tuned. Next important one query optimization. So that query will use in the uh, SQL views or SQL stored procedures in everywhere. So that should be optimized. Next. So build efficient stored procedures. When we say build efficient stored procedures, what are all the columns we need it? Please use those columns only. And what are all the rows we need? Use those rows only. Let's not pull extra data and let's not use in the stored procedure even though it is not required. And next efficient transactions. So transactions should be efficiently. So don't go for a long transactions even though it is not required. Please use the transactions whenever it is required. Next understand and analyze the execution plans. So like you you in the SQL Server provides the execution plan as well. So there you can see and open and see the execution plan. Please go for a better understanding and analyze it. Next. So identify and eliminate the execution plan recompiles. So there are some scenarios where the plan is going to be recompiled. So that time, please eliminate that. Next. So avoid a scalability pitfalls. Like there are some scenarios where you might be using XML data type. So that time better go for uh, so avoid scalability pitfalls. Next, finally, like you need to tune the Microsoft SQL Server. So with a proper resources, proper memory and uh, space. Next. Test and monitor your data access performance. So like let's monitor your data access. How much time it is taking uh, to access the data. Next check how the deployment uh, decisions are going to impact the performance and scalability. So on the high level. So these are all the points you need to be take care. So as I said, if you have a different scenario that you may need to be think a little different than this. But these are all the general important terms while working with them. SQL Server performance uh, tuning side. So let me go a little inside. So when we go for uh, schema design, so a uh, better to go for a so appropriate resources to schema design. So provide the appropriate resources to the schema design and separate the OLAP workload and OLTP workload. So there are some projects where they will put in a single server. Bet better to separate those OLTP and OLAP. Next. So first, let better to go for a normalization. Better to go for a normalization. So later you can you can denormalize for performances, but better to go for a normalization first. Next, 
so define all primary keys so define all primary keys and foreign key relationship it is very important one next define all unique constraints and check constraints so unique constraints and check constraints also uh, makes a matter while in, while discussing in the performance side next you choose a appropriate data type so there are some scenarios people uh, even though it is integer people used to keep it as a var data type let's not go that way so better to go with a appropriate data type so based on the winner's data let's decide on the appropriate data type next so try to use the index views for denormalization try to use the index view for denormalization next so if possible let's apply partitions on the tables either vertically and horizontally so better to apply partitions on the table but partition supports only in the enterprise versions next so if you see in the query optimization so better to know the performance and scalability characteristics of the queries first of all as a first step you need to know the performance and scalability characteristics of the queries next so write correctly formed queries write correctly formed queries and take only the rows and the columns which are needed for you take only the columns and rows which are needed for your project next so avoid try to avoid using the expensive operators try to avoid using the expensive operators such as not like so not like is expensive operator in the sql server better not to use that next so avoid explicit or implicit functions so wherein in where clauses avoid using the explicit explicit or implicit functions in the where clauses so use locking and isolation level hints use the locking and isolation levels next so use stored procedures or parameterized queries only so when i say parameterized queries pull only the required data by passing a parameter to your query and better not to use the cursors better not to use a cursors and better not to use long actions on the triggers long actions on the triggers and use a temporary tables and table variables appropriately so there are some scenarios people create a temporary variables and they don't drop it so better to drop that is the best practice next so limit query and index it use so limit the query and index into use next fully qualified database objects better to take a qualified database objects only so there are some scenarios if you feel the stored query is suitable better to use that then don't go for other database objects next indexes so indexes also we need to talk about so how to do the index fine tuning and all so based on the usage of the data let's create the indexes let's not create a general index and let's not uh, create some extra indexes let's create the indexes based on the use next so keep the cluster index keys as small as possible so we can create a one cluster index on any sql table but keep as small as possible next consider range data for a clustered indexes as well next so create an index on all foreign keys only so let's not create indexes on other keys better to create as the as for the best practices create the indexes on the foreign keys only and create highly selective indexes create only highly selective indexes next consider indexes on columns used in the where clause order by clause group by class and distinct classes so let's not create index on a column which is not used let's create the columns which are used in the where clause order by group by or distinct classes majorly next so remove the unused indexes if you see so there are some indexes are there on the top of a table which you are not using in the queries better to remove so high like a maximum number of indexes so may decrease means even though if you have a more indexes it may decrease the performance of the sql queries next so use the index tuning wizard to check the tuning processes to check the tuning process better to use the index tuning wizard next if you talk about a transactions so avoid using a long running transactions avoid using a long running transactions and avoid transactions that require user input to commit avoid that transactions as well access heavily used data at the end of the transactions access heavily used data at the end of the transactions 
try to access resources in the same order try to access the resources in the same order next use isolation level hints to minimize the locking use isolation level that is important use the isolation level hints to minimize the locking next so if you go for execution plans so that is also very important for us so evaluate the query execution plan so during the development itself next avoid table and index scans better to avoid that table scan and index scan every time next evaluate hash joins if you have any hash joins please evaluate during the development time itself so evaluate bookmarks if you have any evaluate sorts and filters before going to deploy into the server next so if you see the xml process so avoid open xml over large xml documents there are sometimes you may need to work with large xml documents so that time avoid open xml type next avoid large number of concurrent open xml statements over xml documents so there are sometimes like you may need to uh, go for a large number of concurrent open xml but better to avoid that to improve the performance of a sql queries or sql um, uh, structures next execution plan recompiles so there are like we talked about execution plan recompiles user stored procedures are parameterized queries only to improve it next avoid interleaving ddl or data definition language or dml in stored procedures including the tempdb database ddl so avoid cursors over a temporary tables please try to avoid cursors on the whole so these are the points which i talked about so which impacts the performance in a higher side so these are all the points which are which if you consider during the database design and the database development so if you take into consideration this will give you so very good database performance so that's it thank you for watching so i will show you practically how to uh, uh, check with the execution plans how to do the index scanning how to do the index fine tuning in the next video so please subscribe and provide your valuable feedback thank you